In December 1989, the taxis wouldn't stop for you in Tokyo's fashionable Ginza district unless you were waving the equivalent of a $100 bill. Forty years of economic expansion culminated in a decade of cheap credit, conspicuous consumption and blind speculation on stocks, property and even golf club memberships. Juliana's disco was packed with people who thought the party would go on forever. They were about to experience the mother of all hangovers. Oh, that period was sheer madness. All these foreign securities firms, realizing that Japan is, is there to, to explore, came in and started buying prime real estate at ridiculous prices. And then the average Japanese looking at that and says, gee, if these foreign securities houses think the real estate is worth so much, maybe it is worth so much. So many people are building uh, and uh, the, uh, the large uh, skyscrapers. People are very much sure of the future. And everybody thought that they're going to become rich. In fact, many of them were about to become very poor. The Bank of Japan had been trying to control excessive borrowing since May. Over the next 15 months, it raised the discount rate by three and a half percentage points. By October 1990, the bears had cut the Nikkei's value in half. Property prices in central Tokyo fell by a third. Japan entered its lost decade. Chunichiro Koizumi became prime minister in 2001, just as another bubble burst, this time dot-coms. His financial reforms ushered in Japan's longest post-war expansion. The only time that I was very excited about the prospects in Japan was during that period, that very brief period when Koizumi was doing his best uh, to turn things around, and sadly, uh, that era is gone. Koizumi may have put Japan back on its feet, but the financial crisis of the past few years knocked it down again. Daily says Japan faces another lost decade unless the government cuts a debt burden that's almost twice the size of the economy. And Nikkei watchers agree the index won't get anywhere near 39,000 anytime soon. It's not impossible, but it takes some pretty heroic assumptions um, about the ability and the will of the government and of the people to address some very uh, large and, and very um, daunting uh, structural challenges ranging from the demographics to uh, the fiscal deficit uh, to, you know, um, competitiveness challenged industries. In order to recover the uh, uh, size of uh, index level of uh, 39,000, the Japanese corporation uh, should improve or had better improve further the uh, uh, efficient usage of capital more. Uh, they had better concern more the uh, ROE or cash flow, cash flow or base return. It will take about maybe five to ten years or so because the Japanese economy is very much dependent upon the uh, growth of the world uh, economy. And uh, since the world economy is, uh, is not in a very good health. We still have a problem of the financial uh, system uh, worldwide. On December 29th, 1989, Tatsuro Yamashita's Christmas Eve was top of the charts here in Japan. Even though the party was ending and the tinsel was coming down, it's still a karaoke favorite here at this time of year. But with Japan barely escaping its worst ever post-war recession, many analysts say the year-end celebrations may once again prove premature. Mike Fern, Bloomberg News, Tokyo.